Today's topic, how to visualize your future. Today I want to share specific steps with you that you can use to visualize your future and not just any future. You don't want a future under the bridge. You want a future in a nice apartment or a nice house, doing what you love, being with a partner who loves you and who you love and just having this incredible feeling of happiness, joy, fulfillment and this idea of yes, I made it. That's the feeling that I want you to have. And I want to share the exact steps with you that I took to visualize my future and to make my future my reality. And I still use it up to this day whenever I change my idea about my future, whenever I change my goals, whenever I change what I want to achieve. And whenever I change who I want to become. And this is something that's a continuous process. You might want something right now. And once you have it, you will expand again. That's the nature of the universe. That's the beauty about being connected to your inner being and trusting in the power of the law of attraction. Because then you can expand and expand and expand without ever being worried that you will hit the wall. You can just expand. And that's a beautiful feeling. And it all starts with a meditation. Meditate on what you really want your future to look like. You don't have to go in a meditation, in an actual meditation, and sit down, close your eyes and meditate. But for me, it was very helpful. You can also do it by just closing your eyes and letting your thoughts wander. Or you can just think about your future. You can just write it down. You can just write certain keywords on a piece of paper. Things that you want to do, things that you want to be. But really ask yourself, what do I want my future to look like? And please don't fall into this, oh my god, I want to be famous and I want to have a Lamborghini and yeah, bling bling, in this kind of trap. I mean, maybe you want a Lamborghini, that's okay. If you want that, that's awesome. I, for example, I have a clear vision of my future, I know exactly what I want to achieve, I know what I want to achieve financially, I know what I want to achieve when it comes to my relationship, I know what I want to achieve when it comes to my personal health my well-being, and I'm talking about emotional and physical, I know what I want. And I also know that I want to give back, that I want to do a lot of altruistic things in the future. Because the more money I attract, the more I can give away. Because I know that the more money I make and the more I let go, the more I allow money to flow and, and do good things with it, the more I will get. And I do good in the world. And that alone makes me feel better, makes other people feel better. And it's just amazing. So be specific. Be really, really specific about what you want. I mean, I don't want to buy a Lamborghini. I don't even like driving a car. My car is called Uber and I love it. But for you, it might be different. Just think about what you want and don't allow the advertising industry. Don't allow Hollywood. Don't allow some Instagram influencers. And don't even allow me to influence what it is that you truly want. And deep down you know that what gives you the most positive emotions, not what might impress somebody, not what might be seen as something you should do when you have money, not something like that, just what gives you the most positive feelings. As always, it's all about your vibration and your emotions. And then create the video game character that fits in this future. Yes, I could have also said create your future self, but I think this is a good example because it's a little bit like a video game. You design your character. What qualities does your future self have? What qualities does this video game character have? What thoughts do you have? What beliefs do you have? What do you stand for? What do you value? What are the things that excite you? What are the things that you don't want to do? For example, in order for me to create the new Sebastian, the Sebastian that you're listening to right now, I had to get rid of all these old negative beliefs, of all these beliefs of, oh, life is hard, life is suffering, all these beliefs I had while I was trapped at a low consciousness level. Oh, I'm not responsible for my actions. Oh, it's the government. Oh, it's other people's fault. All this stuff, I had to get rid of it and change my beliefs from life is suffering and life is unfair and I'm not responsible for what I do into life is beautiful, life is amazing, life is fun, life allows you to manifest beautiful things and I take full responsibility for my life. So create this video game character and really think about what qualities, what thoughts, what beliefs, you can either write it down or you can remember it however it's best for you. As long as you feel these emotions and as long as you can create this person, then you're on the right track. And then think about what kind of job and career or maybe even a business your future self has. What do you really want to accomplish? 
And there's a reason why I don't focus on hobbies here. Because what I found out from my own process of visualizing my future and then also achieving this future in real life is that when it comes to your hobbies, for example, I love to go to the gym, I love to eat healthy, I love to watch funny comedy shows. When it comes to this, there's no resistance. You don't need to work on that. When you create these pictures in your mind, this will show up automatically because there's zero resistance. You just like to do it and it's okay. But when it comes to your career and your job, there's often a lot of resistance. Because I would say that about 50% of people who contact me for Skype coachings have this issue that they don't like their job, they don't like the career path that they're on, and they haven't found their true calling yet. And because they link all these negative emotions to this career, to this job that they have, that's why it's so hard to visualize the future with a new career, with a new job, with a new business, because you're so emotionally invested in the past. And like I said before, for me, it wasn't an easy process to get rid of all my negative emotions from the past. It took some time until I realized, hey, I'm actually responsible for what I'm doing. Hey, I can actually do good things in life. Hey, I can actually feel good about myself in life. And for you, it will also take a while. So please, again, don't fall into this trap of yippee doo, it has to be an overnight success. Whoop, whoop. It can take some time. And if you want to find an easy way to discover your true calling, and then leave your old life and your old job that you don't like behind and make more money than you've ever made before, then you might want to check out the link in the description. And yes, I'm speaking from experience here. I now make way more money than I've ever made in any of the jobs that I had. And even though back then I was so afraid to leave my job behind because, hey, as a German, I was conditioned to believe that having a safe and secure office job is the best thing you can do because starting a business is so, so risky, yada, da, da, da. And I believed this and it took a long time for me to fully understand that it was a lie. And for you, you can embark on the same journey. You can also find your true calling. You don't have to do something for 40 years that you absolutely hate just to be depressed when you then retire at some point. You can find your true calling, live your true calling. And if you want guidance on this path, you can check out the link in the description. And now that you know how your future looks like and who you want to be and what you want to do, it's time to close your eyes. I don't care if you use music or if you don't use music. I also don't care if you speak to yourself or if you're quiet. The only thing that matters is that you get yourself into a state of pure relaxation. Because only when you are in this state is your subconscious mind receptive to receiving the information you want to provide it with. And then you can change your mind, your emotions, your thoughts, and your destiny. And by that, you change your future. And what if you have a hard time visualizing? Create the feeling that you have when your future turns into reality. Visualizing can be very hard in the beginning, especially when you're not used to it. When I started to visualize my future, I couldn't see anything all I saw was darkness. I closed my eyes and it was dark and I was like, okay, great. How can I visualize something? But you don't want to stare into darkness. You want to see pictures. And I also assume that you want to visualize your future and see these pictures because you want to create your future. You want to turn these pictures, these images into reality. And you can do that. You can do it with pictures that create emotions or you can do it the other way around by feeling certain emotions that create pictures. If you create the emotion now, I promise you that the darkness will soon turn into pictures. I mean, if you can see pictures straight away, if you're a natural talent when it comes to visualizing, that's great. Then the emotions follow. But if you can't do that, if you have trouble seeing these pictures, then you can also do it the other way around and start with the emotions and then create the pictures from the emotions. And what emotions could you create while you visualize your future? It's time to leave the old emotions from the past where they belong, in the past. No more suffering, no more blaming, no more victim mentality. Okay, I'm talking about myself right now, but maybe you're struggling with the same emotions. <laughs> These are the emotions that I struggled with for a long time in my life. I blamed others for the things that went wrong in my life. I was the perfect victim. And don't get me wrong. 
it's hard to do that. Because the way our society is built, it's all about conditioning you to believe that people are evil. Ooh, and the stock market, oh, it's all rigged. And ooh, the bad news every day. And oh, you have to be a victim. Oh, take this pill. Oh, take this thing. Oh, take this medication. And then at some point you might feel better. That's what our society tells you. And it's time to break free from that. What emotions do you want to feel? Feel joy, happiness, love for life, enthusiasm, excitement. And I know that you can feel these emotions. Because if I can do it, you can do it too. I was trapped in suffering for such a long time. So you can do it too. I know it. You just have to see yourself as a blank piece of paper. Imagine yourself as if you've never felt any emotion before. You're just this emotionless blank piece of paper. And now you fill this paper with emotions. So while your eyes are closed, ask yourself, what would it feel like to have this job? What would it feel like to be this person? What would it feel like? And take your time and allow these images to unfold. Visualizing your future is a little bit like a drone shot over a city. And the drone gets closer and closer to the buildings. At the beginning, you don't really see anything because you're just starting out. You've never done it before. So you have to give yourself time. At the beginning... You then might see a few images, you might see yourself in some scenes. When you create more and more pictures, these pictures will turn into a movie of your future. And then I want you to make a snapshot of the one image that has the most profound emotional impact on you. For example, I'm in the process of manifesting my dream apartment. I want a beautiful luxury apartment that's already furnished with a big balcony or maybe even a penthouse apartment. And there's this certain image that I created in my mind where I walk into this apartment wearing a nice suit and just being so happy that I got this apartment. And this image had the most profound emotional impact on me. I don't know why, but you don't have to know why. Your inner being tells you what's right for you. And then make a screenshot of it and remember this image and the emotion that you experienced while you were creating this image. And then visualize whenever you have the opportunity. If you want to manifest your future, I would say you should do it daily because I'm a big fan of consistency. I truly believe that consistency leads to success. And you can do it any time you want. You can do it right after waking up. You can do it before you go to bed. You can do it while you're waiting in line at the supermarket. And now you might be saying, yes, Sebastian, but I can't close my eyes at the supermarket. Well, technically you can, but you don't have to. Because if you get really good at this, then you can visualize it and see these pictures and feel these emotions with your eyes wide open. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but I can do it and I know that you can do it too. And if you want to become so good at visualizing your future and manifesting your future, that it's inevitable that you will become this person and that you will attract the things into your life that you want to manifest, then you might want to inquire for your first Skype coaching session with me because I helped so many other deliberate creators to see their future and to create their future. And I know that I can help you to do the same. If you want to inquire for your first Skype coaching session with me, you can check out the link in the description. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.